Hi there, this is Crystal Van Pelt for Cortex, and I get the pleasure of showing you our Cortex Press beta. This is only going to be available to our .ape domain holders to begin with. Uh, we want to make sure we see all your creations, so share with us on our Twitter account and make sure to join the Ape Fam channel on our Telegram as well. All right, let's start by going to beta.cortex.press to get into the beta site. Now, this homepage is going to be changing soon, so you're going to see something completely different, but you are going to hit get started and I'm going to connect my wallet. There are other options to connect to Cortex Press, as you see there with Magic and other wallets other than MetaMask. All right, now you can see my notebooks. And I am going to first go to my Wolf Mother Studio notebook. I have already played around with this a bit and and it is currently live at wolfmotherstudio.ape.cloud already to view. And what I'm going to be showing now is using the slash command to get the drop down for markdown. In a video coming up, I'm actually going to show you some of the common uh, markdown language uses. So if you don't want to use this drop down, you'll be able to get your notebook to look however you want in a couple different ways. But you can kind of see that adding images and links is pretty easy. Now I'm going to go ahead and publish and that will publish an update to my wolfmotherstudio.ape. Let's go ahead and visit that site so you can see some of the updates that I just made. Great. And to the left, you can see that when you put a heading in, it actually populates those as links to the side. So I have headings for my acrylic artwork, my watercolor artwork, and you can see that it displays that. I also wanted to give you another example of UncleNate.Ape.Cloud. He has already put a whole bunch of content on here that you can visit right now. So let's check that out. Uh, look forward to the next few videos. I'm going to be showing you how to use Markdown, how to update your metadata, all sorts of things that you're going to be able to do using Cortex Press. We're excited to share this with you, and we hope to see some of your creations soon.